Hornaday tried to get it kick-started in that outside lane. He'd like a little more drafting help than he's got right now. Here they come. Down to the strike. Three laps to go. It's Eric Almirola. Oh, water. Piling up Murray and Kirky Kahn. One truck is upside down, heading down into turn number one. It's Ron Hornaday. Hornaday is on his lid, heading for the banking. The truck rolls once, twice, three times, side over side, ends up on its roof. Ron Hornaday on the apron in turn number one as they tangled, coming down to get the three to go. Four trucks involved, at least four, maybe more, getting other damage here as they come just past the start-finish line. The rain car to Kahn also involved in that truck sliding all over the racetrack, but the wildest move was that by Ron Hornaday going up in the air, upside down, and landing on his top. It looked like Todd Bodine may have been the start of that one, Joe, as he came down across the start-finish line. Some contact was made. He got sideways. A couple of other trucks tried to take evasive action. and spun, hooked Ron Hornaday, and an absolute wild ride for Hornaday as he came down end over end and side over side. Todd Bodine comes down to check on his buddy, puts his arms up in the air and walks away, uh, appears to be indicating that Hornaday is all right, but they're going to take their time and be very cautious in getting Ron Hornaday out of that Chevrolet after a wild ride, half the length of the front straightaway upside down here at Talladega. In the closing laps, we figured it would get exciting, and boy, did it going off into turn number one. Safety vehicles all over the racetrack out of the entrance of the corner there as they tend to Ron Hornaday, who's still in the truck. It's upside down. Some of the other trucks have moved away from the scene there at the entrance of turn number one, but Hornaday certainly getting the worst of that one with, uh, again, about four involved here as we're down to a few laps to go. Red flag is on the field with Eric Almirola at the front of the pack, Johnny Sauter, Kyle Busch, Jason White, and Chris Fontaine. And Right now, our concern is for Ron Hornaday, Jr. That was a very hard crash. Initially, it got upside down and just slid on its roof for a good long time. But when he got up to the banking in turn number one, it hooked and flipped wildly at least three more times before coming down hard on the roll cage. There is damage on the Kenny Schrader machine, the Grant Enfinger truck. He had had such a good run this afternoon. He's done for the day, has climbed out of that heavily damaged machine as they continue to work on the Chevrolet of Ron Hornaday. So the red flag is out now at lap number 91, three laps from the finish of the Mountain Dew 250.